I'm lucky to be alive. I'm lucky that Jack's my friend. <laughs> and I'm lucky I got to be here for this presentation tonight, Jack. I know I'm supposed to evaluate you, but this is Jack's re-icebreaker. And he's come so much as a Toastmaster, going full cycle, going back through the program again, doing the first speech. My favorite part about Jack's speeches, and this one was no difference, is the, the humor that comes with it. You always find a way to interject humor in a serious conversation or a funny conversation. So, well done. The, the jokes just kept on coming. I really liked how you would tell a story, and I never got tired of you saying, I'm lucky to be a lot. I never got bored of you saying the same thing over and over. It gave closure to the point. We all sat here and said, yeah, Jack. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> you should have died all those times. We, we lived vicariously through your errors, punctuated with the humor. Has Jack been working on this speech for a long time? Did he come prepared? Jack's been working on that speech his whole morning. <laughs> Being in the Toastmasters, we're all here to improve. <clears throat> Jack is no different. And one suggestion that I would have <clears throat> would be enunciation and pronunciation. There are times when it's not clear as to the word that you're using or you're stretching, you're searching for that word. I don't think there's anything wrong with searching for a word. I think that's actually good. But sometimes that leads to a, maybe a mispronunciation of it. So simply just some vocabulary items. That's my only constructive feedback. That was an outstanding speech. And I learned about Jack in a very meaningful way. And that's what I enjoyed about most. Thank you, Jack.